Hello Space Nerds, welcome back to another video of SpaceX updates. We were quite wrong about yesterday's speculation at Starbase. We were hoping for a wet dress rehearsal or a cryogenic test at the least, but were proved wrong by SpaceX, but hey, speculation keeps things interesting at SpaceX, doesn't it? Yesterday's testing was more of an orbital tank farm test and plumbing's check test. Since the last time Booster 7 had a static fire here at the orbital launch mount in late November, crews have redesigned and added a lot of new plumbing, so they might have wanted to make sure everything works fine. We have a possible road closure scheduled for Friday as well, so it is highly likely they will conduct a cryogenic test on the full-stack Starship today and in the next week, the wet dress rehearsal. Here are the things we might be seeing in the next few weeks before the orbital launch attempt. First and foremost, a full-stack cryogenic test. Next, we may see the wet dress rehearsal, after that, the stacking of S-24 from Booster 7 and then, the static fire of Booster 7 alone. At the same time, finishing the final works on the Starship TPS tiles, restack again and launch. But the most important part is the launch license. We all know how long it took for the FAA for the publication of the final programmatic environmental assessment. We all hope it doesn't take that long this time. Documentation works will be carried forward only after the static fire test, I think. Are you thinking of the same sequence as me? What are your thoughts? Comment down below. And to complete all these, yes, late February or early March is the probable timeline. Without completing these steps, we are not going to see the Starship launch. Elon soon could be at least two months. At the Florida launch site, SpaceX had rolled out the chopstick arms for the orbital launch integrated tower. These chopsticks could be up on the tower by the end of next week. As I said before, experience from constructing Starbase in Texas will make things easier for SpaceX at other launch pads. The next thing we may see after chopstick installation is the rollout of the orbital launch table. In no time, Pad 39A will look like a futuristic and robust spaceport. Before I give you the last update, if you enjoy these short update videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. That will help me a lot. Here is the last update. Before the chopsticks roll out at Pad 39A, Falcon Heavy was rolled back inside the hangar for fairing and payload integration. Don't forget to watch the United States Space Force's USS F-67 mission live with me here on the channel on Sunday, and later in the evening, Starlink 2-4 mission. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end.